Hey what's up Halo fans, welcome back to another Halo video. Now in today's video we are going to be having a discussion about an interesting topic that has been a debate for quite some time now and that is Sprint. I never really expressed my thoughts on Sprint being in a Halo game so I want to make this video. Please do keep in mind I'm not against anyone that loves Sprint or hates Sprint. This, this video isn't about oh 343 sucks, Halo is dead. No, we don't do that here. We are here to share ideas and give positive feedback about this uh, situation that's going on in Halo and the community. So anyways, the priority question is, should Sprint be in Halo or not? Or can it be improved? Let's talk about it. All of us Halo fans remembered uh, Sprint being introduced in Halo Reach in 2010 and it felt bizarre sprinting in a Halo game because Halo 1 to 3 uh, never had Sprint. So we were used to playing the Halo games that way and it's what made Halo very unique. Halo wasn't like any other any other FPS games. When Halo Reach was released, you had other people that liked Sprint, but then you had others that didn't like Sprint. I mean, Sprint wasn't the most hated armor ability in Halo Reach, not like armor lock of course, <laughs> but this video is about Sprint, keep in mind. So when uh, 343 came along and made Halo 4, they made you know Sprint as the default ability. If you look at Sprint in Halo Reach, it was it was an armor ability with a small way pickup ability, and in some playlists there was no Sprint, like in Team Hardcore, which was great. But in Halo 4, it was all Sprint. You could not remove it, there was no options for it, to be, for it to be turned off, you always have Sprint no matter what. And what was worse, you could use another armor ability along with Sprint. You could use Jetpack, Thruster and Hologram with Sprint. You can actually do that in Halo 4, but so many people had so much hatred for Sprint in Halo 4 compared to Halo Reach because of it. Since everyone was using Sprint, Halo 4 made you feel like you had a lot of advantages, uh, which made the game not fun at all. There was no challenges, basically the game was sadly sabotaged. Uh, and I've noticed on how in Halo 4's matchmaking there was no teleports, on how you could get to places quicker by taking teleports. Have you guys noticed this? There was literally no teleports in matchmaking. From what I've remembered, in Halo 1 to 3 and Reach matchmaking, there were teleports. Yeah, I know Halo Reach had uh, Sprint with their teleports and matchmaking, but many people were not really using Sprint uh, because of uh, it was an, uh, it was a armor ability which wasn't that bad compared to Halo 4. So three for three decided in Halo 4's matchmaking, or well, because Sprint is a default ability in Halo 4 now, we will remove the teleports from matchmaking because it's no longer needed. Everyone can sprint. Do you guys see that? Like that was basically that was basically a replacement that no one really noticed. This uh, it was an iconic feature that many games don't have. We had teleports for a reason to get to locations quicker. On top of that, we had vehicles to get to places quicker too. Oh, and also I forgot we have grab lifts too, which can get a quick boost across the map. We basically had teleports, vehicles, grab lifts that helped us to get to places quicker. So sprint wasn't even needed. As you guys can see the gameplay footage here, when the enemy player approaches by, he had an NG sword while he was sprinting. And this is a very dangerous combo when you have sprint and an NG sword. And the NG sword is already overpowered alone. But sprinting with the NG sword is a lot worse. I'm only demonstrating this in Halo Reach because it's the only uh, it's the only Halo game I have on PC currently. I don't have Halo 4 and 5, you know, where I can show you a player sprinting sprinting with the energy sword. Uh, but you guys get the point, right? You know, sprinting can be very dangerously overpowered. Depends, you know, which weapon you have, and it makes the game so unbalanced. Like, mind you, this does happen a lot in Halo 4 and 5. Not too much in Halo Reach. When Halo 5 came along, it still had sprint as default, but it had an option where you could turn it off. But it was only in custom games, I think. Do correct me if I'm wrong. There wasn't a playlist in Halo 5's matchmaking where it had where it had no sprint. I never got around playing Halo 5's multiplayer, you know, besides the campaign. Uh, all I know there's sprint, you know, in Halo 5, and then you have, you know, spawn abilities, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, that's all I know. Anyways, the main question is, can sprint work in a Halo game? Does it have the right place for it to be in a Halo game? Honestly, in my perspective, it can work. And here's the only solution on how 343 can make this work in Halo Infinite. Listen very carefully, 343. Make sprint as an armor ability again, like how it was in Halo Reach. Do that first, and then implement Sprint into Forge and custom games. Keep it out there, camping and matchmaking especially. That's it, it's that simple. Just keep Sprint in Forge where people can goof around with it, you know, play custom games with, with Sprint on, or, or make machine mode videos with it, whatever. And it can be the same for other armor abilities like Jetpack and Hologram, or Spawn abilities, you know, keep those in Forge in it. Period. Or at least make another playlist where you have Sprint on, and then have another playlist where you don't have Sprint on, like in Halo Reach. I mean, those are my solutions, you know, I can't, I can't think of a better solution than that. You know, removing Sprint from Halo Infinite completely, I don't know if that's a good idea now, at least in my opinion. Most Halo fans won't be happy because they are so used to playing Halo with Sprint since 2010, which is like 10 years ago. <laughs> Let that sink in. So removing Sprint now may end up dividing the community, so it's a tough decision. 
Like I said before, Sprint will be perfect for custom games and Forge, especially when it comes to huge modern maps like Extension in Halo Reach. So when we do uh, you know, get more modern maps like this in custom games in the future, it's actually perfect for Sprint. You will want to Sprint on these huge modern maps, regardless when you have you know, teleports and vehicles. If 343 were to follow uh, you know, my solutions, it can work without doubt. Just give us more options that we desire 343. Don't give us replacements. That's where Halo you know, is going wrong all this time. I'm not talking about Sprint specifically, I'm talking about you know, Halo in general. Because I've noticed over the years that TF3 have replaced a lot of things in Halo. Like they like how they replaced split screen with 6 FPS in Halo 5. You, you guys remember that one, right? So yeah, we want more good options, not replacements. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop the video here now and let me know what do you think of the video. If you guys have a better solution on Sprint, do you think it should be removed or can it be improved? Please let me know down in the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you spawns in the next video. Bye.